Good morning, folks. Welcome back to the farm. It's a beautiful Saturday morning. I'm just about to go uh, move the sprinkler out of the garden and back out onto the lawn and get that thing greened up a little bit. Actually, already ran to Grand Prairie today. I had to get, uh, I had a really busy week and haven't had time to get something for Mama, so and it's hard to see in there, but that's a couple of apple trees and a lilac bush. So the story behind that is my, my wife's not a big fan of cut flowers for any kind of occasion because they, I mean, they're just, they're just dead in a couple of days, right? It seems like a terrible waste. But when we first moved here, we built the shop and then I had a track go in and we excavated water and water and sewer and power and all kinds of stuff. And uh, as it turns out, I think I, uh, I think I pruned those lilac bushes with the track hoe <laughs> uh, significantly more than what they could su sustain life. So now every year for Mother's Day, I buy her a lilac bush and then I got her an apple tree from each of the girls. So that's kind of a gift that keeps on giving throughout the years and will eventually build up quite a nice little food forest there. Anyways, while Finley and I are out here moving sprinklers around, Carmen and Charlotte are in the house making up some cupcakes. And when they get that done, I think we're going to head over and uh, see about trimming up some 4-H steers. Get them looking show ready, I guess. What do you see, Finn? Oh, you got a puppy. Say, get out of here, Ranger. You're being a sneaky little bugger, aren't you? <laughs> While I'm out here behind the barn, I just fed some hay bales out to the uh, to the ewes and the heifers here. And uh, it's been a busy day so far. We did run over to the in-laws and watch some cows get some haircuts. That was pretty interesting. And then uh, come home, got a half a bite of lunch, got called out, had to go to a fire. Just got home. So now that these now that these critters here are fed, I'm gonna see if I can't find a shovel and uh, get some trees planted. Oh, I got some holes dug for the trees here. You see, they're just in those little pots. They're not too not too bad, but we got concentric rings, right? So we've got an inner circle and then an outer circle. And so the inner one is, of course, to hold up the tree, and then the outer one just allows us to add a larger body of mulch to help keep the soil cool and moist and uh, overall keep the weeds down a little bit from around the tree. So I'm gonna go ahead, get these in there now and then I've got the big old trailer on so we can give them a good water into. Oh, I tell you, it is some hot out here right now. I'm just leaking. It's uh, it's about 30 degrees. I don't know, if it, maybe 29, maybe 31. I don't know, if it's, it's just hot at this point. There's quite a bit of, I think they must have watered them right before I picked these trees up because the the compost and everything, the potting soil that's in with these trees is actually really, really wet. So they come out of those pots very easily. We'll get the soil popped up all around it. And then I'm gonna add some wood chips. So we've had maturing for some, oh, a couple years. We'll add some wood chips around there. I'm gonna try and keep the sod out as best I can. I got a couple chunks of sod in here. I don't really want the grass to grow up through the wood chips. What's really cool is I've got some worms. Here, I can't even pick it up with my gloves. Little wormy worms. Pretty happy to see those in the garden. So we're gonna go ahead and tuck the worm back in there. Get some dirt swept in here. Give them somewhere to hide. And then we're gonna water like absolute crazy. And then put the mulch on is what we're gonna do. I want this thing to be completely saturated all the way down. It's after supper time here now. We got uh, the 
trees are all planted, the kids are all fed, they're in bed there now. I'm just tucking everybody in. I've got to uh, get the water trailer unhooked from the side by side, and I gotta take a trough down to where the rams are. This warmer weather and everything we've had, that creek's been drying up, and that, that creek runs right through the corner of the ram pen. But now that it's drying up, they don't they just don't have a reliable water source. So I'm gonna take a, a tub down there and a bucket and fill it up out of the dugout. And then uh, one of these days I'll get to it, but I, I fully intend to get that little trailer gutted so I can put a tote on there and that'll provide just a, a source of well water rather than just dugout water because that'll stagnate quite quickly. I don't want to keep that in one of the totes, but well water will be all right. And uh, just have that gravity feed through into a little float switch on one of those tubs and uh, they'll have a reliable source of water. Well, here we are down in the bottom. This is where the, the creek all runs through and you can see this is just the, the absolute greenest spot on the farm because this is the only place that ever had any water. And the spring melt came through and it all kind of, this all lushed up really nice. And one thing I've been kind of throwing the idea around, especially in these dry years, is because uh, I got fence posts put in here, I tore out the buffalo wire and I got this all prepped for uh, four strands of barbed wire. But one of the things I'm actually kind of throwing around is maybe, just maybe, a guy wants to throw some page wire up here and then cut a cut, cut, a cut line through the trees and then join it back. Because the cows really never really come in here for anything. But there, boy, would there ever be some good sheep grazing in here. And, you know, they could get in amongst all the underbrush and stuff like that and maybe do a little cleanup in there. But Pipe dreams. I don't know if that'll ever happen. Cost the fence in these days, maybe not. Anyways, uh, the reason to come down here, like I said, is to get uh, get some water out of that pond. So I brought a tub down. And I got a bucket. And I got my exercise ahead of me. The rams all got their water there now, and I just thought I'd come and actually have a look at the grass situation there. You can see it all looks pretty dry and scrubby, but underneath over here you can see lots of green shoots coming up. So it's good. It's good that, uh, well, there's actually a natural spring in that hillside there that runs down. It runs through here on top of the actual creek. So there's always kind of moisture in this little paddock. And we've always found that it's able to sustain the rams for the entirety of the summer. It's not a very big paddock, but with the moisture and everything, it's just a perfect location. Kind of slight slope south facing, gets lots of sun and uh, works out just perfect for these fellows actually. But across the way here is where we want to be. So into there, you can, you can kind of see where the wet area was, right? Cause it's really, really green. Then you get up into the top section, it's a little bit browner and scrubbier. So I'm thinking the ewes are gonna end up in here right around the beginning of June, probably right before we go on holidays. So I'll better, better get like this locked up tighter in Fort Knox, make sure there's nowhere for them to get out. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna let this grow a little bit longer before we move any ewes down into here. And fingers crossed, we can get a bit of rain in before then. Well, I'm back up and in behind the barn here now. Got the water to the rounds, come up the hill. Figured I'd run some molasses into the sheep. I just filled up their tub there. Kind of, they've had a lick tank, but also just give a little bit of free choice like this. Is that good? Be coming over here with your sticky nose. Hmm? Sticky nose. We'll get you a treat. Well, it's getting on in the evening here. And you can see, but the wife's got the lawnmower out. She's mowing around the garden. She's she's mean in business. There's going to be no grass creeping up into that garden this year. Or so she thinks. <laughs> There's going to be lots of grass in that garden this year, I think, unfortunately. But anyways, I'm going to leave her for that. I'm going to go fetch up, uh, I don't know. I think maybe tonight might be iced tea. It is so hot. But uh, I'm going to head in for now. So I'll let you go. Hope you have a fantastic evening. We'll see you tomorrow.